That's the good. A man who works all day long digging ditches with a shovel, he's going to appreciate his dinner more than a man who sits behind a desk and earns a fortune. There's no doubt about it. They're, the food will be different at dinner time in both them families, but I guarantee you that ditch sugar is eating well. One happy man. Little brackets and anchored the pipe, so to speak, to keep it on the plate on the bottom. And I was able to lift it all the way up and then swivel it over on that ball. It, it worked perfect. Brilliant. But the thing about it is, uh, to lift it up there, one person had to stand out here with a bar and pry the tank away because the tank would get, it would get snagged on this tower and they had to break it free. Well, me and the wife got in an argument, and she went in the house. She didn't come out no more. It took me all day to get that tank up there, just because I didn't have another set of hands. That's stubborn. That's being stubborn for you. Double stubborn. Over here. There was a little trawl opening. A renter I had cut a hole in the wall for chickens. And that's what this man climbed through. I caught him, I got his picture. I caught him on film eventually. Uh, got me for my, my torch, including one of the tanks, a couple of power tools, and only God knows what else. They got a lot of stuff. They made more than one trip in here, I'll tell you that. Well, I finally caught them. I don't know who they are, but I got them on film. I got a nice video of them doing a man and a woman doing that little dirty deed. I can pick up anybody walking around out here 24 hours a day. But you can't leave anything out that you're, gonna, that you're afraid of losing. My stuff is all put away. Uh, the stuff that matters. Most of, not everything, but most of the things. The things I really care about. You, you'd be hard pressed to find it. I have taken these pipes and stripped them completely of what was on them because people were stealing so much. You, a thief will come back. That's been my experience. I've caught people stealing. Oh yeah, 40 pound chunk of petrified wood trying to go out the gate. Yeah. Basically what has happened to this place, uh, how this was created was, I started with a very large collection. Uh, you have to go back to when I was six years old, back to uh, around 1952, living at the ocean. My father and I would go on camping trips into the desert. Father-son thing, it was a blast. Fire at night, roasting the hot dogs, uh, sleeping on the ground, Coleman stole the lantern. Uh, we started finding old dumps out in the desert, some of them. Now, this is desert of 1952, 53, so forth. They were old dumps. They'd been there for 50 or more years. Uh, everything in them was antique. He fell in love with the bottles. So we started collecting bottles. When we went on a camping trip, uh, we were focused on putting them near something where we'd find old stuff. He went to the library, researched old maps, Plainly marked mining camps, mining camps, all over the place. So we went looking for them on our trips. And we found them. Those people, they, uh, they would strike gold and uh, they'd put a mine in and have 50 miners, two saloons, and a general store. It lasted 10 years. Everybody lost their jobs. Everybody left. The little mining camp died but they left everything behind. And him and I found it. Nobody was looking for that stuff in those days. Uh, he, Dad was an old bloodhound. He, he could sniff anything out. And we found him. And uh, just having fun on camping trips. But to make a long story short, I went down in 2000 uh, and got the collection from him. Everything we had ever collected. He was 80. He wasn't going to live much longer. And took and brought it all up here, and then I started building immediately. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, uh, that was 17 years ago that I went down and got that collection and started working. It was only a year or two later that I had to go back to collecting. But here's the thing. All those trips that my dad and I took when I was a kid, even trips he took without me, because once I become a teenager and I was driving a car, I didn't go camping too much anymore. I had other things to do. Uh, I did a little. But he wrote story. He wrote them up. He wrote up the trips. He, I've got a stack of maps in there like that, detailed, pencil whipped, on the trails. Uh, how he had, how he found stuff, and where he found it, and how to get there. You know, it's just fantastic. But again, when I started running out of stuff, <clears throat> I went to those, some of those old places. I knew where the dumps were. I know where there's old dumps right now that are completely buried over. They've been pushed over with a dozer. <coughs> I could dig and I could hit pay dirt in, two, in less than two foot, I guarantee. I know right off the bat, without even thinking, I know three places. You, you'd look at it and just pat, it's just dirt. And weeds now. But underneath, artifact happened. You couldn't talk to him anymore. You couldn't. He couldn't hold a conversation. And every word you used would be a subject to him, and it'd flip off in all directions. Mm -hmm. But he he cleared his head just for a moment one night when I was there. He said, "I envy you." Is this, where's this coming from? You're crazy man. And he said, "I said why?" And he said, "Well, because I, th I always thought about doing everything, but I never did nothing." I said, you, you've done everything you ever thought about. That's, that's the difference between me and somebody else. I think about it and I do it. I found a tree sticking out of the ground. It was dead. Amongst all this stuff here, those are all rocks. And I, I worked it and worked it and I jerked it out of the ground because I wanted the root system. Okay? And, uh, my dad snapped this shot of me carrying it back to the Jeep. It's in my right hand, it's hard to see. But when we got home, he beat me to the punch because this is what I was gonna do. He made a lamp out of the root. Wow. See that? That's cool. So you can have a good Hey Linda. What'd you do with that French picture? I have piled up right here. No, take it over there where there's light. Okay. There's, there's light here. here. Yeah, but there's a major glare. Is there? No. Um, yeah, it's just the whole lamp. Here, if I go right here. Looks good for Perfect. me. Perfect. That's a pretty good photo. It came all the way from France. It's beautiful photos. Where I'm going to be five years from now, I don't know. I'm going slow now. I uh, I don't get in a hurry about nothing. And there's one that's done right here on this cart. I've still got to put it in the ground. Not anxious to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's getting where it's hard to find a place to put anything too. I don't know how much it weighs, but it, it's more than the average man would want to lift. The wife used to help me. I get so many people now, it's not difficult to grab somebody or a couple of somebody's and I have them carry it to the hole. They're more than willing to do that. This is never going anywhere. It better not go anywhere. No, it won't go anywhere. It, it, well, for one thing, it's all cement. Yeah. How are you going to move that? Exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not going anywhere. Close that hand as quick as you can, and then I'm going to tell you the story. You ready? You got to be quick. Okay, it's in there. Trust me, it's there. And you put it in here, in your heart, okay? And you hide it, and you never let anybody know it's there. You don't talk about what I just gave you. You don't say anything. Your neighbor will try, your neighbor will try to steal it from you. 
Everywhere you go, if they know you got that, they're going to try to steal it. Everybody wants it. It's in value. It's priceless. But you have it. You put it in your heart, it sprouts, and it grows. Now, for me, it's just a, a bunch of memories. And you, you walk around there and say, hey, that's cute. But I say, yeah, well, I was I was 10 years old or yeah. eight. I still remember it. I still remember using it. But the first metal one was way up in the corner, like I said, where the two fences meet. And it's nothing fancy, no antiques on it. It's just a pipe that had some limbs on it. <clears throat> but I, that was the first one. And I didn't go back to it once I started, once I changed over and start putting tops on. I just built one Spikes one day in the bottles with glass. long salvages mm. from and all over Southern rap. California. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah